Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Samantha here. <clears throat> Happy Friday. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far and I hope everyone is looking forward to the weekend. And today I wanted to share with you my first Dollar Tree haul. Um, you guys, I shop at the Dollar Tree all the time. I always have. Dollar Tree is one of my favorite stores ever. And so I figured I would go ahead and do my first video with you guys. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree Monday of this week and I actually found a lot. So I will try to make this short and sweet so the video isn't too long. But the first thing I found were these little animal planners. This one is Uma the Unicorn. And these are so super cute. And they were already basically sold out of all of them. They had like four left. And it looked like they did have a whole entire uh, top shelf full. But they were pretty much gone. So she is so cute. And I absolutely love succulents and cactuses so um, I think what I'm going to do for these though is I may take these to work and set them on my uh, desk even though I'm in the office one day a week so I think I'm going to try to find the um, fake succulents which sometimes you can find them at the Dollar Tree and put those in here but how cute is she so there's Uma the Unicorn and then I also found Flora the Fox and she is darling. Let's see if I can get this open for you guys. And this is what Flora looks like. Super cute, you guys, for a dollar. These would be cute to send to a friend, um, you know, and some happy mail. These would be cute to add in with you know, a little birthday gift or just, uh, you know, thinking about you gift. So I thought that those were really fun. Um, I actually like the fox better than I do um, the unicorn, but they are both super cute. So there's those two little goodies. And then I picked up several of the little gift boxes. They had tons of these boxes and lots of different sizes. So I went ahead and picked these up um, for a dollar because sometimes these little boxes can get really expensive. So there's that design and they had tons of these you guys. And then I also picked up this one and they all have like glitter on the top so it adds a little you know something to it. Super fun, super cute, and for a dollar, you know, you could use these for storage, you could use these for um, sending mail, birthday presents, you know, all kinds of things you could do with these little goodies. And then this one is my favorite. It just screams summertime, and it's got these little mason jars with the drinks in it, and you've got your fruits, and you've got your little glitter. I love the striped pattern on this one, so I picked that one up. And then I also picked up um, a couple in this size, and they had the little scalloped edging around the lid. Um, the other one I've already sent out in the mail, <laughs> so um, I decided to film this video after I sent the other one out in the mail, but it was really pretty too. It had um, lots of really pretty shades of blue um, throughout the whole thing, and it had like a cluster of flowers on it, so it was super cute. Um, but this one is on the smaller size, but still for a dollar, super, super cute. And like I said, you guys, you could do lots of different things with those. And then moving on to the next bag, I found this 60-piece uh, pom-pom set. And I thought these were really fun, and they're a really good size, too. They were in the uh, Crafter Square section. So for a dollar, it's like, heck yeah. And then also from the Crafter Square section, I found these pretty paper, or well, I don't know that they're, yes, they are paper. These little pretty paper flowers, there's 12 in a pack, and they've got these little flat back pearls in the middle, so I thought that those were fun. I also picked up a couple of these little um, hardware storage cases which I'm sure you guys are aware that these are uh, commonly used in embellishment swaps. And um, it doesn't say how big they are, 
but I went ahead and picked up a couple of these um, for myself since I am starting to um, add to my stash and I'm, you know, I have stuff all over the place. So I picked up one for, or, well, actually two for me. And then I just picked these two up for extras in case I um, decide to do an embellishment swap or, you know, anything like that. Um, I also picked up another pack of these nail art uh, 3D bows. I had showed this to you guys in a video previously, and I went ahead and picked up another pack just to have on hand because, honestly, I don't see these all the time. So, and they are super cute bows, so you guys can check out that video. Actually, you guys, I might be wrong. I may not have videoed this. I put this over on my Instagram, I think. Anyways, it's either on Insta or YouTube. Um, if you want to check them out a little closer up on Instagram, um, I'm at by Sweet Tea and Grace over there too. Um, they're really tiny, but they are super cute and they are dimensional. And they do have a, you know, a flat back on them, so you can use them, um, use some glue with them. Then I also picked up this 55 piece, um, little gem set it says jewels and gems and they're all hearts and i thought that these were really cute and that's the only pack of those that i did see so i picked those up and then i found a pack of this super cute washi tape there's the llamas you guys i love llamas and this one's got a floral design and then this one is gold foil with like a little triangle pattern so i thought those were fun and it's three packs for a book, so, and it's actually not too bad um, of a washi tape. I've used it in the past. And then from the baby section, I picked these up. I only wanted one, but I had to buy the whole pack. Um, these are infant flatware spoons, and there's 12 pieces in here. But the reason why I picked these up is I thought that these would be great for your sequin mixes. You know, you could use the little spoon and you know, scoop your sequins into your container, mix it all up, and then you could scoop it into whatever project you're adding your sequins to. So I was like, you know, that's the perfect size. It's not too big. And um, I'm not a big fan of the blue and the green, but that's all right. Um, I'll probably just use the clear ones. But hey, you know, there's a little Dollar Tree hack. So I picked up those. And then speaking of sequins, I also picked up this little pack of 12 mini wavy plates. And they're not super deep, but I went ahead and picked them up because of the way that they're made. I thought this would be good for, you know, mixing a small sequins mix in. And then the way that the edge is made, it has like a little, it's like a little pour spout. So I went ahead and picked those up. And of course, if you didn't want to pour them, that's why you have your spoons. So anyway, I bought those. And then the last couple of things are not um, crafting related. But I picked up a couple pair of socks. These are so cute. These are um, little unicorn socks and they have like little ears on them. So I thought that those were fun. And then I also picked up um, this little pack of dogs. It reminds me of a Boston Terrier. And he's got really big ears here. So I thought that those were really cute. And then the last thing that I picked up, um, I always use these small trash bags from the Dollar Tree. There are 40 to a pack and they are four gallon size. And I have used these for years and I use these in my um, bathrooms in my trash cans in there. They are the perfect size for my trash cans. So if you guys um, are looking for some small bags that don't cost a fortune, and you don't want to use, you know, know a lot of people use like Walmart bags or Kroger bags or food line bags in your trash can. Don't do that. You can get these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And they say that they're scented. And I mean, it, yeah, it has a little bit of a smell, but it's nothing overpowering or anything like that. So definitely, if you're in the market for some small trash bags, especially for your bathrooms, even your craft room, if you have a small trash can in your craft room, these would be perfect. And like I said, there's 40 for a buck, so you really can't beat it. So anyways, that is my Dollar Tree haul for this week. And like I said, um, this I figured I'd go ahead and share with you guys. I'm always at the Dollar Tree. It's my favorite store ever. And so I wanted to share 
and I will probably continue to share because I know a lot of people um, really like the Dollar Tree. You can find some really good things for a buck. You know, it's really budget friendly. And so anyways, that is it for this video. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day and I will catch you guys on the next video.